Speaking of the Falcons, yesterday Zach Herrick sat down with former BGSU head coach Urban Meyer. He's now got a gig down in Columbus, and Meyer is still keeping tabs on the Falcons and Rockets. Being a coach who's seen it all, I mean, winning national titles and, and whatnot, looking back on the Toledo Bowling Green rivalry, do you ever still kind of oh, look back on that? Watch it every or? year, yeah. I still to this day watch the rivalry. I love that rivalry. It's, uh, you know, the fact that the school up north, Toledo, we used to call them, uh, they have that rocket pointed right at the confines of uh, Bowling Green Stadium. And, you know, we, we beat them our first year, lost our second year, and it was a war and uh, great rivalry. When you look back on all the great coaches that have come out of Bowling Green, um, obviously you're headlining that list, but you look at all the coaches before you, what does it mean to you to be a part of that list? Well, Bowling Green does it right. You know, how many schools keep close with their coaches? And we do it the right way here. You know, we're always going to be Falcons. And I remember one of the first things I did whenever I became a head coach at any school, but certainly Bowling Green, I'm on the phone with Gary Blackney. I'm on the phone with Mo Ankney. I'm on the phone with uh, Don Nealon. And uh, Coach Clawson carried that tradition. You know, we, he had me come up. We stayed very close. And that's a, it's a fraternity. And we all support each other. And lastly, Coach, when you look across the mat, there's a lot of great coaches, a lot of young coaches coming up now. What do you know about Jason Candle, Mike Jinks, guys like that? I know uh, Jason Candle very well. Uh, Matt Campbell uh, was a very close friend of mine. I tried to actually hire him at Ohio State when he was assistant at Toledo and became the head coach. Uh, coach Jinks, I know him a little bit. Uh, I just have, you know, I treat Bowling Green different, and Coach knows that. We, we have our camps and everything, that, or if anything, uh, Bowling Green moves right to the front of every other school in the MAC conference. You got Frank Solich, who's the dean. You know, you got excellent coaches in the MAC. You know, I, I thought that one when I was there. And it's the most balanced conference in all America. Any team can win it any, every year.